Hello, Chef here. I have something unusual for you today, something you've never seen before. What do we have here? Hmm, let's take a look. Black egg. That's right. I got a jar full of black eggs. Here's one of them. I want to show you a few things about this egg, tell you some more about it, and then maybe you're going to try to make some of these too. Black egg, pretty cool. So the coolest thing about it is the contrast. The, uh, the white paper here and the black egg. So this black egg has uh, been going about maybe a week now and it's marinated, uh, like pickled. You make a jar of uh, vinegar, spices, garlic, pepper, whatever you like, and you're going to uh, put the hard-boiled eggs in there, and then you're going to end up with something like this. Black egg, very cool. Let's uh, carefully use this titanium knife and cut it right in half and see what it looks like inside. I like this knife for this type of uh, cutting task goes right through very very well uh -huh. so here's the black egg on the inside cool yeah I think I'll cut one more they're all a little bit different oh yeah no yolk Another idea for you there. The black egg. Little garnish here. Some fresh basil. And a little bit of smoked hatch chili powder. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Click that little like button, please. Get cooking and have a great day. Okay, the second black egg looking really good. Uh-huh. Now I'm gonna serve these. Just do a real, real quick garnish for you. All right, little presentation, here we go. So I got the eggs out of the way. I got this awesome black tomato. All right, or Cherokee purple. So we're just gonna do a couple slices like this. in the center here as well okay got these cool plating tongs and add a little bit of black basil right here uh-huh and I'm gonna finish this off with a little bit of smoked New Mexico chili powder as well as a little bit of salt yeah 
that's it. Thanks for watching the presentation. Learn more about pickled eggs on this channel. Click that little like button. I know this is a first for you. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Like the videos, please. Give a comment about that tomato right there, too. It's a very interesting pattern. Have a great day. Get cooking. Please watch Chef's other videos. You can learn a lot of cool things. Have a great day. This is Appalachian Red Oak with a clear coat of food safe varnish. This is made in America. This is the best butcher block and desk surface, in my opinion. Countertops, islands, you name it. It's beautiful. Red oak is more porous and it will accept stain a little bit more. This is the same thing here, except this one is mineral oil finished. And then we're going to make it look like this. This is dark American walnut. Same deal, made in America, full length strips, food safe glue, perfectly flat, perfectly square. Yeah, really, really nice. So stay tuned with me and I'm gonna be back and show you a few tips here.